everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Engineers have created an electronic device that is powered by the same energy source that drives our own cells. The device is an integrated circuit powered by adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, which, as you might remember from Biology 101, is the molecule used to transfer energy among living cells. Created by engineers at the Columbia University School of Engineering and Applied Science, the device combines a CMOS integrated circuit with an artificially created biocell that uses ATP to power ion pumps. This ATP-powered chip is exciting not only because it represents yet another intersection between the technological and the biological, but because this technology could eventually be used to power biomechanical implants. It could also eventually be adapted to allow electronic devices to incorporate other functions from biological systems, such as the ability to smell. This study is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next, from electronics powered by a biological energy source, we move to a new medium for storing energy. It's called power paper. It's a sheet of nanocellulose mixed with a conductive polymer, only a few tenths of a millimeter thick, and it can store as much energy as currently available supercapacitors. It can be recharged over and over again hundreds of times, and charging it takes just a few seconds. Power paper was developed by researchers at Linköping University in Sweden. It's a significant development not only for its high energy storage capacity, but because unlike other more conventional types of batteries and capacitors, it's made of inexpensive materials. It's also extremely lightweight and waterproof. The paper on power paper is published in the journal Advanced Science. And finally, researchers have utilized a commercially available piece of gaming hardware to produce higher quality x-rays. That piece of hardware is Microsoft Kinect, the motion sensing webcam that's been available as an add-on for the Xbox since 2010. Researchers wrote software that allows them to use Kinect to measure body thickness and make beam adjustments before making x-ray images. The result? higher quality x-ray images that require less radiation exposure of the patient to produce. This isn't the first time Kinect has been adapted for use outside of gaming. It's also been used to aid stroke recovery, incorporated into physical therapy regimens, used to assist during surgery, and used to translate sign language into written or spoken words, among many, many other applications. Not bad for a piece of tech that was originally marketed as a peripheral that enabled you to play video games without a controller. The study on using Kinect to produce better X-ray images was presented last week at the annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America. Engineers create an electronic device that uses the same power source as our living cells. Scientists invent power paper that can store energy like a supercapacitor. And researchers use Microsoft Kinect to produce higher quality X-rays. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to my channel if you're not subbed already. Also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. Right, Adi? Adi says thank you. <laughs>